Do you believe in Pokemon Evolution? Well, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you could press like, the B button as they're evolving and stop no, like, doing it. But I don't do I don't you believe, believe that. they need you to believe that Pikachu can evolve into Raichu. You believe that? Do you believe it's all it's like a quick thing or or is it something that ha- occurs over, you know, thousands of years? Oh no, he's it's like instant. It's like going into cocoon and like bursting out. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense. It's like leveling up, dude. Have you never leveled up before? I didn't look anything like this. I used to be a 16-year-old girl, which explains why I drive a Focus. And then, boom, one day, leveled up to level 24 and became a Grew a beard. Really? Yeah, really. That happened. It goes against all the laws of nature. Mm -mm. Read uh, Darwin's book, dude. Chuck Darwin. So let me talk to you for a minute. Say in 10 years from now, you get a contract, a deal, you get asked to remake The Matrix 10 years from now. How would you do it? I would not make it suck. I would uh, probably, probably get some good actors in there. Even though Keanu Reeves is the best actor in the world, clearly. I'd probably throw Alex Winters in there, too. Make it like a secret Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure remake while also being the Matrix remake. Merging in Matrix, I would get Keanu Reeves, Alex Winters. Then you also got Magneto, the black guy. Morpheus. Morpheus. Same thing. The black guy. Go back in time, go dig up George Carlin, put him in Pet Cemetery. he resurrects, we put him in the movie. Boom. Rufus. You have haunted Rufus. You don't have... Yeah, I mean, we'd have you... to keep him, we'd have to keep him tied up so he doesn't kill anyone. Bill and Ted, slash Neo, and Morpheus, slash Magneto. All in one movie, and Dumbledore, because Magneto and Dumbledore are the same person. And then, you're gonna have a bunch of Urkels, right? It's just a bunch of people dressed up as Steve Urkel, and they're all in a club, and you got to dance around them. But they're also dodging uh, dance moves from the gay Urkels and dodging drinks. So you throw in a drink, and they're like, (sighs) avoiding Uh, it, you know, avoiding the Apple Teenies, killing everybody. And also going back in time and getting Abraham Lincoln and Socrate and Genghis Khan. And they're coming back, and they're kicking ass with all the new people from the past. So this is like... This is like Bill and Ted's Matrix. Bill and Ted are going back in time, picking up Socrates, Billy the Kid, Genghis Khan, Abraham Lincoln, Napoleon. They're all going back, grabbing them, bringing them to the future, fighting robots, and getting an A on their test so that Ted doesn't have to go to military camp in Alaska. San Dimas High School football rules. And then they teach the entire world to what? Be excellent to each other. Goddamn right. Wild stallions. That's what I would do. I feel like you just dove right into that. I've been planning it out for a little while. I've been writing my script for it. Trying to combine all the greatest Keanu Reeves movies and converge them into one. With the exception of The Lake House. (laughs) You gotta somehow get... uh... Patrick Swayze up in that. Well, duh. What do you think Pet Cemetery is for? Bringing people back. Yeah, but that's not the same, dude. You, that's evil Patrick Swayze. Well, maybe it'll make for a more interesting movie, though. If we bury him twice, he'll become double evil, which will be, a, you know, double negative. Oh, right, right, positive. right. Boom. That's right. It's science. Oh, well, that's a lot of burying, though. Mm-hmm. And a lot of digging up. Keanu Reeves. (laughs) Sorry, that's so stupid.